Hi there. Welcome to my channel My PhD Life. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the red subscribe button and become a part of my science outreach initiative. If you're enjoying the content I'm creating, then make sure you hit the like button because that is the algorithm that helps me reach out to all the science enthusiasts out there. Hi guys. <laughs> This is Navjot Kaur and welcome to my PhD Life. Thank you so much for all the support that you've been showering on my channel for enjoying the content enjoying the science chat show and supporting me in this initiative help me share the word spread the word and reach all science enthusiasts in one of my recent videos i talked about the struggles that i had as a phd scholar settling in in the first semester or the first two semesters of the program I also thought it would be nice to talk about things that I think you should do in the first semester rather than being stuck in the quagmire that I was. So in this video I'm going to talk about a few things that I would highly encourage uh, existing PhD scholars who are fresh into the program and probably struggling with issues that I struggled with or prospective students who are watching this video and planning to pursue a PhD to keep these important uh, points in their minds when they join the program and are in the initial phase of settling in My first tip and that's not valid just for PhD scholars but for anyone who's going to try something new in their lives and take something that's challenging to them is don't beat yourself up give yourself some time This is something that I didn't do really well in the beginning So when I started struggling with the academic level that I see or missing my home too much or not liking the food, not being able to make friends in the beginning because of all these things that I was handling, I started beating myself up and that sort of made the situation even more worse. What you need to do instead is to give yourself some time, some space to figure out what are all these new things happening around you and sort of accept them. Let your mind and your heart take their time to settle in into the new world that you have moved into settle in into the new profile the new job or the new course that you have started doing and give yourself that liberty you know to take that time to get into the pace of where you have come from where you have come i think i didn't do this really well initially but as soon as i realized that a major part of the stress that i was building or feeling within myself was self induced I stopped beating myself up and rather started focusing on what could I do to reduce the stress and that sort of helped a lot in reducing the anxiety that I was feeling in the beginning. The second thing that I would say to keep in your mind like a line on the rock is to communicate. Don't be shy. Don't be coy. Don't feel that you know what will people think if I tell them that I'm going through this. especially uh, when you look at your peers and there are people you know who would have had such experiences earlier than you and hence they would be handling such situations better or they might be coming from places which had prepared them for such situations and you might be coming for a, from a place which hadn't prepared you that well and there's nothing of your wrong doing in that again so give yourself that liberty to realize that you might be under prepared for the situation and the best way to prepare yourself is by communicating and not by closing yourself in and that worked wonders for me so when i started communicating with my seniors and a professor at my department all of them gave me so much wisdom so much of valuable inputs and one of my seniors had himself gone through something similar so he could really understand what i was going through and his experience sharing helped me a lot to relate that you know yes there was someone else who went through it and this is the reason that i'm sharing this with you that there was me who went through it and if you are going through it it's completely normal don't feel shy communicate to the right people so it's important that when you're stuck you don't let your emotions take over you and you get in touch with the wrong people that is also not advisable find the right people talk to them there are usually now a formal committees in all the good institutes to help you tackle any sort of mental stress that you might be feeling 
if you feel that that might be a solution for you go for it don't feel shy otherwise there are at departmental level there are committees uh, of professors and seniors who understand these things because they have also experienced these things and it's completely natural so talk to them and find the right solutions My third tip would be that you should focus on learning. This is something that I I was fortunate and I pat my back <laughs> that I realized uh quite early and I started focusing on learning things that I am lacking behind in rather than sitting and cribbing and crying over them. So it's very very important that if you feel that the subjects are turning out to be really tough for you or the assignment load is too much or you're not able to perform good in the say first set of exams or quizzes that were taken take it as a pointer to tell you that you just need to work harder on those subjects on those skills and you'll be at par with your peers or performing well in the next round there's always a next chance to do better only if you realize this fact and start working towards it so make a list of things that you feel you're struggling at and have pointers that you know how are you going to address those problems and solve them and get to it work on your skills start learning things that you feel you're lacking at and you'll find the solutions soon the fourth and very very important tip is do not compare yourself with anybody you might be sitting in a class with students who have had exposure to similar advanced subjects even if they are in degrees that are not as uh, you know sophisticated or as progressed as yours that doesn't mean that they will they can't know the subject because remember age is not going to define how much you know it's the experiences that you have had so don't compare yourself with students sitting in your class don't compare yourself with your peers in your batch don't compare yourself with your lab mates don't compare yourself with other project staff and other individuals you might have in your lab your phd is your own journey as i've been saying over and over again phd is a tailor made so focus on your skill set building what are the challenges you're facing what is the research that you're going to do what are the subjects you need to learn and make it all about your learning experience and try to shun out all the other distractions that come in from comparing yourself with others My fifth tip in continuation to something similar from the fourth point is within your first semester don't try to plan the next 5 years of your PhD. So I I didn't do this but I know students who fall into this trap that they start thinking in the first semester you know in the first few <laughs> weeks or months will I finish in 5 years will I finish in 4 years what will I do after my PhD of what kind of papers am i going to publish will my research work or not and these are not th- these such kind of questions are only going to bog you down and make you more anxious of anything that you try to do it's good to plan but since you are at a new place in a new degree give again give yourself that liberty to first figure out the foundation of what you're trying to do and then start building over it so do plan for your first semester for your first year plan what courses you're going to take how much time you're going to devote to each of them and what kind of skills you want to learn within your first year but please don't start planning 5 years of your phd in the first semester i don't think it will be productive rather it will make you a, lo- a lot more anxious and you might just start a- asking questions of, from domains which you just haven't explored at all and with complete lack of experience it will again make you feel that oh i don't know this how i'm going to do this how i'm going to plan that and then again add a lot of stress on your plate so it's better to take a few things at a time and the relevant ones which matter at that time my last tip and the most important one i would say is to have a life outside of your work I know it's valid for everybody who's a professional but especially for people who are in the field of research and PhD scholars you're going to work on tough problems study tough subjects make a lot of assignments take tough quizzes and exams so it's important to take a break rejuvenate and come back to work with fresh head every now and then for this it is important to have some co-curricular activity or hobby that you like 
have a fitness routine so this is a mistake that i did and uh, uh you know i would like to sh- i wouldn't want to change anything in my phd experience but this is one thing that i would like to change and maybe not because then i might have not had this realization is that i missed out on doing physical activities exercises and things like that in the first one to one and a half years of my phd i wasn't really like leg- regular i was conscious and i would do something every now and then but i did not have a regular fitness routine and now i think that i should always have a regular fitness routine though i miss a few days every now and then even now but you know that's the kind of lives we live but nonetheless i now make it a point that it's a constant bell i keep it in my head that every day for one hour i should devote it to the wellness of my physical and mental health so even in the first year of your phd which is going to be very hectic and full of a lot of new things it's important to take care of your health take breaks involve yourself in some hobby something that you like to do that relieves the stress that is building because of the phd life that you have gotten into for instance i started doing bhangra with the bhangra group at my university but that was a, that was a little later and then i also started playing tennis or table tennis with one of my friends then we would go out sometimes or order food and from outside and eat and these were the tiny little things i would do but uh, i would confess that in my first semester because i was bogged with all these stressful things that i've talked about i really didn't pay attention to all of it and that started adding a lot more stress to my plate because i wasn't really doing anything to relieve it so please 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 have something outside of your work that helps you relax rejuvenate refreshes your mind and gives you new energy to come back to work so those are my top 6 tips for you to remember especially in your first semester or your first year of your phd because there's going to be a lot of stress that's going to come your way and that is not something that i'm trying to scare you with this is just an alert message that i'm you know shoving down your mail box or your uh, message box every now and then to just remind you to take care of yourself and excel in the field of science so good luck with your phd programs go pursue your passion for science let me know in the comments section if you found the content useful and if there are any other issues that you're facing and i could have a chat with you about it Take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.